Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. For the record, I am Rick Watrous of Merrimack 12, Concord Wards 5, 6, and 7. And I'm supporting this bill because I believe making criminals out of citizens that possess less than an ounce of marijuana does more harm than good. Um, under the current law, if a citizen is caught with a joint, one single joint, they are subject to a $25,000 fine and could spend up to three years in jail. I believe the penalty does not fit the offense. Um, the imprisonment of our citizens under the existing law costs our counties rough, roughly $35,000 per person per year. This adds up quickly. That money could be much better spent than turning these people into potentially hardened criminals because they've just spent three years behind jail. <coughs> I believe that, uh, according to the fiscal note accompanying this, that the judicial branch would save money because of court costs involved in the current misdemeanor offenses. Uh, ma many states have already taken this common sense path. Research has shown that the dangers of marijuana have been greatly exaggerated. And in some ways, it's actually safer than alcohol and tobacco. So I think it's time to amend this law for the benefit of our citizens. Have you seen the amendment? No, I have not. May save you some work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any, Any questions? Thank you. Oh, sorry. Thank you, I got my voice back again. Thank you, Representative, for taking the question. Um, my only concern is, is how do we, enforcement-wise, okay, we have one example is, all right, somebody gets, our enforcement officer finds somebody at one, under one ounce of marijuana. And he determines that that marijuana is not pure marijuana. There's other stuff in that marijuana. Would this bill fall underneath that? I believe the existing bill talks about alterants, you know, the other stuff. Um, I, and I haven't seen the amendment, so I can't speak to that. Any other questions? Thank you. You're